Welcome to the Susie Homesteader channel. And it's New Year's Eve, so we're going to make some fun champagne New Year's Eve cocktails for grown-ups. And I'm going to show you how to make a fun uh, Pop Rocks non-alcoholic drink for kids. So let's start with our champagne cocktail. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, kind of pre-mix one quarter of what's going to go into that glass. Now, just depending on how big of a glass you have is really kind of determine how you're going to measure, do some of your measuring on this. So this is a really small champagne glass, so we're going to do very small parts, um, just so we can make sure that we can fit the champagne in there. So again, depending on your glass, you know, you might want to double this if it's a bigger glass than that. So the first thing we're going to need is one part vodka, and this is actually a mountain huckleberry vodka, um, but you can use a plain vodka, you know, you can use a pear vodka, uh, anything, you know, you think might go good with a little bit of lemon that's going to be in the lemon juice, and then uh, there's a little bit of orange in this triple sec. So whatever kind of vodka you want, um, but we'll start with that, and we're going to do a half an ounce of vodka to start with. We're going to kind of pre-mix this up a little bit first, okay, and then we're going to do uh, a half an ounce of our triple sec. So we're going to pour that in there too. Though so you could even just squeeze a fresh lemon in there if you wanted to. So we'll kind of start with that pre-mixed uh, part of our champagne cocktail. And then go ahead and pour that in to your glass. And then the rest of that is going to be your champagne. So find your your bubbly, fill up your glass almost all the way full, and then just maybe leave enough space for uh, a fruit or some other kind of garnish you want. And what I made a while back uh, was some chocolate vodka soaked strawberries. Um, and these are super easy to make, but we're going to add that to our drink just so it looks pretty and tastes a little more chocolatey. Uh, but you can soak strawberries in anything, any kind of liquor you want. Um, and then you're just going to put it in a mason jar and let it sit for a day or two. Um, and sometimes the longer the better, depending on what kind of fruit you're using. And we're going to use that in our champagne cocktail as well. So there you go. That is our New Year's Eve champagne cocktail. And then one other fun thing you might want to think about doing when you... Uh, Put your ice buckets together for your champagne or your wine or anything else you're trying to chill. Boy, there's all kinds of stuff you can actually freeze into your ice cubes. Um, I actually put in some table confetti, or you know, otherwise known as uh, glitter or gemstones or anything you want. But it is kind of fun to put uh, some of that in your ice cube trays. And of course, these are not edible, so do not put these in your actual glass glasses. <laughs> this is strictly for chilling uh, your bottles. Now, unless you can find some edible glitter, which they do make, uh, that's another possibility too. Uh, but there's so many fun things that you can freeze into your ice cubes for your ice bucket. Um, I'm not a real big fan of confetti or table confetti or anything like that because it's, of course, really hard to clean up. So the best way to use some of that confetti for New Year's Eve is to put it in some ice cubes. Uh, so that's one idea. You can also put in marbles, um, you know, multicolored marbles, gold marbles, anything you want. Uh, you can kind of mix into your ice bucket. Um, and then, you know, you can also get some really fun stuff. This is just a bucket of bling uh, you can get at the craft store. Actually, I think I bought this at Walmart. Um, but you can throw those into your ice, your ice cubes or your ice bucket. Um, and it just, you know, makes the whole thing a little bit more festive. So lots of fun things you can put into your ice buckets, not your glasses, <laughs> but into your, your chilling buckets uh, for your champagne or anything else you want to put in there for New Year's. One other fun thing I like to do um, at the bar, I just like to always throw in a couple of fun crafts. I always do a bottle, some kind of a decorated bottle cozy kind of thing uh, for the holidays. This one was just a New Year's Eve one. 
So just easy, you know, you're just looking for sparkly and sequins and shiny and glittery <laughs> uh, for your New Year's Eve uh, theme. So that was an easy one. That was another just fun little craft project for you. Um, and so, yeah, that is your champagne cocktail for New Year's Eve. And now we're going to make a non-alcoholic uh, drink for kids. Okay, so here's part two of our New Year's Eve cocktails. And we're going to do a non-alcoholic fun kids drink with Pop Rocks, one of my fi favorite childhood candies that I grew up with. And they are a little tricky to find. Um, you have to kind of go to the dollar store or a couple other stores uh, to find the Pop Rocks. They are a little tricky um, to get, but if you get some, um, it's worth it. It's a fun drink for kids. So what we're going to start with is just some kind of a glass that's um, got a nice big rim on it so that, you know, we can uh, add some Pop Rocks to the top of that. So you are going to need a bowl, just kind of a shallow bowl like this, uh, with some corn syrup in it, because that's going to be kind of like your glue for the uh, Pop Rocks. So we are going to take our, ri our glass and just dip the rim in there, kind of like you do, you know, like when you do the margarita, the salt on margarita, margaritas. Same idea. Um, boy, this stuff is <laughs> really kind of on the thick side, so you're really going to... It's like glue, for sure, so you're really going to get that on pretty good so we can get our Pop Rocks to stick. So there is our corn syrup on the rim. Okay, and then you're going to have another bowl, kind of a shallow bowl with your Pop Rocks in there. You can do any color you want. Um, our colors tonight are going to be kind of like a um, red theme. So then we're going to stick... I might just need a bigger bowl is the problem, but anyways... You're going to stick those Pop Rocks on the rim. And they're already starting to pop, too, so I guess you better get working there. So get those Pop Rocks on your, on your rim. Oh, boy, those stuck really good. Look at that. Okay, and that's, this is just, uh, like, three packages of Pop Rocks. So you can see those stick pretty good. You're probably going to need a lot of Pop Rocks. And that's the old Pop Rocks package. It comes in different flavors. But um, you might need quite a bit of these. I only have three in here. You'd probably need two or three times that, depending on how many, how many kids you're serving. So there's your Pop Rocks. And then you're just going to take some 7-Up, um, something kind of clear for the kids, so that if you want to change the color, uh, you can change the color. But you probably don't want it to be too sweet. So that's kind of fun, because some of those Pop Rocks are actually popping in the soda too and then if you want to you can add uh, whatever food coloring you want just to kind of you know match your pop rocks or just make it a fun color for the kids so there is our color we're going to just stir that a little bit and our pop rocks are working if you can hear it and then last but not least if you want to go get something like uh, blow pops or some other kind of sucker just as a garnish for the kids. You can do something like that. And then set your blow pop in there. And it'll give it a little, little bit more fizz as well. And there you have a super fun kids pop rock, pop, <laughs> that's a tongue twister. Pop rocks, all non-alcoholic uh, drink for kids. And you might actually like that too. And you can turn this into a fun adult beverage as well. And you can add a little vodka to that or anything else that goes good with a soda uh, for an adult cocktail if you have some really fun adults. So there you go. There's our New Year's Eve cocktails for grown-ups and kids on New Year's Eve. If you have any questions, come and see me at my website, Susie Homesteader of the Rockies. And have a happy new year. See you next year. Sarge, we got a situation. Someone took the ball. The ball? Um... Aw, oh, how cute. <clears throat> Toothless! That is not yours. Hand it over. All right. Just put it back before midnight! So, let's get started. Subscribe to the Susie Homesteader channel, and we'll see you there. Bye-bye.